Apple fans can now rejoice as iOS 8 has finally unleashed third party keyboard support and taking advantage of this new feature is really easy. First things first, by accessing the keyboard tab under general settings you can see all of the keyboards configured with your device and most importantly add new ones. Now new keyboards can be found in the app store and after installing them when tapping to add a new keyboard you'll find its corresponding name. From here, make sure to toggle the switch to allow full access. This basically tells your phone that you give the keyboard permission to work. And like that, you've added a new keyboard. Now with my time so far, I've come across three particular keyboards that you'll want to check out. And I've got to start that list with SwiftKey. SwiftKey is an absolutely free keyboard from the App Store that takes notes from other popular keyboards but still adds its own twist. Now users can enable a light or dark theme and can get to typing right away. Swipe across the corresponding letters in your word or tap them like you've always done. With smart gestures, a similar word suggestion system like iOS 8's quick type feature and more, all this definitely makes SwiftKey a keyboard you may want to give a shot. Next on the list is a pretty interesting free keyboard called Kimoji. Now this one will take some getting used to as the keyboard strives to say what you want through emojis instead of actual comprised words. Yeah, users can submit their own emoji phrases and when you begin typing, the keyboard suggests emoji phrases and more right then and there. It's unique and that's why it's definitely a keyboard to take note of. So if you love emojis, impress your friends and enhance your keyboard with Kimoji. And last but not least on my top third party keyboards list is Flexi. Now Flexi is 99 cents but hear me out though because in my opinion it's one of the best looking keyboards out. Users can customize their keyboard sizes and colors and typing is actually really easy on it. There's a great tutorial menu to learn all of its gestures but I love just swiping across the board to erase things. It feels really natural. With good looks, good gestures and more, Flexi is more than a good keyboard option. Take note of all these things and you'll be a third party keyboard master and stay tuned for more great tips and tricks, Apple news, and more every day right here on Cultimac.com. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There was a look at how to install third-party keyboards on iOS 8 and even a look at my top keyboards. But I want to know, what do you think about this feature or what keyboards are you liking? Be sure to let me know about them all in the comment section below or even on Twitter at JustJoshua123. And if you like the video, do me a favor, click that like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe to see more awesome videos like this posted seven days a week. This has been Joshua Smith of Coltonmac.com. Thank <laughs> you.